right, here we go. Two burly boys played Pokemon in their youth. One had to grow up, the other stayed true. Now the large grown-up child can name all of them, but the other guy probably 510. Now what can they do? Why don't they review? Now I'll talk about them till we die. Die? Hello all, and welcome to the pilot of the Certified Pokey Moments podcast. <sighs> I'm Frank. And I'm Joe Kim. And you may know us from Let's Be Frank, my YouTube channel where I do all kinds of things like talk about Lego sets and Weird and Wild Creatures cards and, of course, Pokemon. I've had Joe Kim on the channel a lot. We do uh, this little bit called Taboo Foods where we make a bunch of really weird, crazy... Foods that are sometimes disgusting, but a lot of times great. But that's not what this podcast is about. No, no. This podcast is specifically about Pokemon. And I do mean that literally. We're not talking about Pokemon-related news. We're not talking about new Pokemon video games that have come out and our opinions on them. We are only talking about Pokemon themselves. The pocket monster creatures. I feel like there's a lot of Pokemon podcasts out there that focus on news and everything, so you don't need us to do that. We are here to give you your weekly dose of Pokemon. The cute and cuddly, sometimes giant and scary, but always nice creatures. (laughs) Endearing, maybe. Every week, Jokum and I are going to roll one Pokemon, and then we're going to talk about it and its evolution line if it evolves. Maybe it has a Gigantamax, or a Mega Form, or maybe it gets an interesting Z-move all its own. Whatever it is, we're going to talk about it, because there's so many interesting Pokemon out there. Over a thousand. And even the not interesting ones, we'll talk about. Jokum, are you ready to get started? You won't let me go home if I don't finish at least five of these today, so I think I am. You're here for life. Thank you, bro. (laughs) Hello, all, and welcome to Certified Pokey Moments. I'm Frank. And I'm Joachim. And today's Pokemon is Garboder. Yay, Garboder. Joachim, how do you feel about Garboder? Um, I feel about Garboder the same way I feel about, and I hate to bring this up, but like Grimer and Muck. Mm, Um, Garboder's a lot better than Muck. I think it's it's just this... I, I was a Gen 5 hater back in the day, I'll admit. I, I, um, I think it's just I think it's just animated garbage, which is fine. I'm fine with Pokemon that are just animated objects. Mm-hmm. But it's just a pile of trash. And then it just makes me wonder, is every Garboder different looking? Um, no, but that's the thing. I think, a, 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 I think bags of trash don't just become Pokemon. I think over time, Trubbish has like it evolved or adapted to look like bags of trash. It's not physical pieces of garbage and waste. It just looks like that. Does that imply sometime in the distant past, like the Hisui era, but for Unova, that there was little trubbishes running around that were like whatever their human refuse would be back then, like maybe little piles of bones? I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure it's that. I mean, it could be. That sounds cool. But I think way back in the day, trubbish started out as like a cat. That's so stupid. No, but listen, 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 listen. So a little while ago, the Pokemon Company released an official merchandise like poster that had a bunch of the cat Pokemon on it. And also on there was Trubbish. Confirming, (laughs) supposedly, that Trubbish is a cat. Wait, okay, was this like a picture of like a moment in the Pokemon world? Because it could just be that like cats it, it like to a, rummage around in trash. It is a cute stylized picture that looks like a cat cafe with every single it's got like Litten, Glammeow, Skitty, they're all there, including Trubbish. I think this might be an example of the Pokemon company not knowing what to do with Pokemon. <laughs> no, I How is it Okay, is that the on. only reason that it's a cat? I mean that's the only reason I mean it's got 
ears. They don't look like they don't look like cat ears. They look like garbage bag strings. But uh, I don't know. That, look, that's my whole point, though. Is that I think it's adapted to look like a trash bag. If this is not a physical trash bag, somebody bought at a store, filled with garbage, and threw in a dumpster. Also, look I, at its shiny form. Its shiny form is actually sick. It's a yeah, black trash bag. I actually bag. prefer its shiny form. Do, have you ever seen Garboder's uh, shiny form? It's, uh, it's trash bag turns just really light blue, and the trash just becomes a little bit lighter. Uh, I like it. I think it looks a slightly I radioactive. I never realized that Garboder was a, basically a trash bag that was burst because it was yep. so full. I never realized that. I yeah. don't know what I thought that was. The I trash thought it was burst green. from the bag. That's, that's why their two Gun. faces are exactly the same. Its face doesn't change at all. The garbage just oh bursts out of gosh. the bag. That, that's a that's a really cool effect. Boom! You like Garboder. I don't like. <laughs> I still don't like Garboder. I, it's it looks like um, body horror. So okay. I just think of it being made of like flesh. It's but its flesh is refuse. <laughs> so it's is fine. it actually refuse? I think it's it, it, it. I don't think it has the texture or consistency of muck, which is a literal goo, I think there's more of like a sandy, gritty texture Ugh. to it. When I imagine picking it up, it's like it's like so, sand that's a little gooier than normal So it's sand. like it's like gunk you'd fish out of your like shower drain. Exactly. That's, that's disgusting. That's okay, terrible. no more disgusting than like the fumes wheezing gives yeah, off. Yeah, I... Uh, I like the look of Weezing. I think it's cool. I think it's iconic. Yeah, I think it's a genuine um, Pokemon that I would never works. want to be near a Weezing. <laughs> so, with the introduction of Garboder, which this is interesting, in my opinion, um, we officially have all three forms of pollution. We have air pollution, water pollution, and land pollution in Weezing, we... Muck, oh, and Garboder. Muck is water pollution. Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, I'm really glad that we covered all of the pollution. <laughs> uh, everybody was um, waiting for the pollution trio to yeah. be available. I mean, arguably, there's also light pollution and sound pollution. Oh my gosh, you're right. Oh, a noise pollution Pokemon would be... I mean, we kind of have X-Cloud. x is just a really loud Pokemon. Do, is there any, like, Pokemon uh, Pokedex entries where it's like, x will make your the house value go down? <laughs> I highly doubt that. Um, but we did not, um, talk about anything about Trubbish or Garbodor, uh, that has to do with type. So, Trubbish is the trash bag Pokemon, unsurprisingly. It is a solo poison type, and it's, uh, shield Pokedex entry state. This Pokemon was born from a, you know what? Everything I just said about Trubbish was completely wrong. I am, I am a dirty, You're filthy a fool, liar. You're Frank. You're a fool. This Pokemon was born from a bag stuffed with trash. <laughs> Why isn't it ghost type then? <laughs> oh, wait. Gala Literally, in the Shield Pokedex entry for Trubbish, Galarian Weezing relished the fumes belched by Trubbish. Disgusting. That's disgusting. That's <laughs> rancid. And when it evolves into uh, Garboder at level 36... It is, stays solo poison, becomes the trash heap Pokemon, and its shield entry states, The toxic liquid it launches from its right arm is so virulent that it can kill a weakened creature instantly! That's, the, that's rancid. Wow! That reminds me of, um, in the Warhammer 40k universe, Whoa. there's like, I think the god is called Nurgle or something. <laughs> He's basically like disease and rot incarnate. Amazing. And Garboder is just like... Diluted Nurgle. Nurgle is disgusting, rancid nightmare fuel. I gotta see a picture of this of this freak. Um, pause for picture. You don't get to see the picture, but we do. Nurgle is gross. His little belly is slid open, and he's rotting, and it's disgusting. And but this isn't a Warhammer 40k podcast. This is a Pokemon podcast. That's true. And more on Garbodor, it was one of the only, if not the only, I don't know, uh, Gen 1 Pokemon, like not a Gen 1 Pokemon, that got a Gigantamax in Gen 8. Think about all the other Pokemon that got Gigantamax. Charizard, Pikachu, Wait. Meowth, Eevee, uh, Kingler. It's, it's the Lapras. only non-Gen 1 that got a... If I, if memory serves, I'm think about all the others. I, I just had Pikachu, Eevee, Meowth... Uh, Charizard, Lapras, Kingler. Okay, some some Gen Eight Pokemon got it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So obviously. Pokemon Gen One or Eight. Garbodor was like Gen Five. He you, got a Gigantamax. Almost no other Pokemon between Gen One and Eight did. You might be you might be completely right. There might be wrong ones. They might be wrong, and I don't want whoever's going to listen to this <laughs> to be no mad way. at us for getting this wrong. But um, if that's right. 
I hate the I hate Generation Eight. I think it was. I think Gigantamaxing had cool forms, but I hate that it was just made you big. Yeah, it was a stupid gimmick. Yeah, um, I agree. I think it's. Well, I think po- I think Gen Eight had a lot of really good designs, but I think it was stupid. Other than that, I thought Gen Eight was a fine game. I, I thought Sword and Shield were fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with them per se. They're just not amazing. But Gigantamax Garbodor. Also has its own Pokedex entries. Did you know that? Do you know Gigantamax forms have Pokedex entries? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, Megas had Pokemon at Pokedex entries, so indeed they did. Not. Gigantamax Garbodor's uh, shield entry. It sprays toxic gas from its mouth and fingers. If the gas engulfs you, the toxins will seep in all the way down to your bones. I hate Pokedex entries. <laughs> yeah. Most, like 90% of Pokemon out there will kill you, even on accident, just because of what they are. Like, oh, this Pokemon, like, will zap, can, can kill an elephant with its electricity. <laughs> Where's all this, like, drama and, like, bloodshed in the actual Pokemon games and anime? Because the, the, the deepest into an emotion Pokemon will go is, wow, Poke- Pokemon battling is so cool, guys. I just, ah. Uh, I feel bad because I want to be better at Pokemon battling. I just love Pokemon. Wow, this is so great. You're so good, main character. <laughs> You're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's kind of rare in the actual games. They implement this darkness. But in Pokemon's Legends Arceus, you know that lore about Drifloon taking away yeah. children? There is this one like side quest about you going off to find a child who was last seen playing with a Drifloon. Oh. Turns out the Drifloon wasn't like trying to steal the kid. I think he was just playing with him. But oh. it's I think a lot of Pokedex... Here's my headcanon for Pokedex entries. A lot of them are based on old wives' tales. Oh. And I've heard uh, this other theory that a lot of people talk about. All these Pokedex entries are written by children. By the 10-year-olds oh. with Pokedexes. So they're going to believe these old wives' tales about Drifloon taking away children. Or what is another strange one? Uh, uh, wow. Galarian Weezing loving the smell of Trubbish Burps. There's a lot of problems with the child labor in Pokemon. But that <laughs> I don't know if I call that child labor. It's like go out on your little adventure, fight the gyms if you want, just fill out this Pokedex. It, it's while child you're out. labor, but the children yearn for the moms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they they enjoy it, so it's fine. It's okay. Um. So d- is so Garbodor is just a piece. He's just trash. You could you could theoretically carve away at his stomach and like you could take him apart. Well, I mean, if you cut open its belly, uh, its Pokemon Sword entrance states, this Pokemon eats trash, which turns into poison inside its body. The main component of the poison depends on what sort of trash was eaten. But Garbodor was introduced in Generation 5, so let's go ahead and read one of its Gen 5 entries real quick. Uh, it's, uh, it's Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 entries, the exact same. Let's read that one. Consuming garbage makes new kinds of poison gases and liquids inside their body. That's not a very that long entry. Wow. Seems like the last... Wow. It's, it's black and white Pokedex entries are very boring. They all just say the exact same thing. That's... Eight. It clenches... Uh, Pokemon Black. It clenches opponents with its uh, left arm and finishes them off with foul-smelling poison gas <laughs> belched from its mouth. When you started with it clenches, I thought you were going somewhere else. No, unfortunately... It clenches there's, its cheeks. There's no clenching Releases a vile odor. <laughs> So, uh, I, I value Pokemon that have really diverse movesets. Like, I can dislike a Pokemon, find out it learns a lot of unique moves of different types and all that, and then I can start to really like it. Surprisingly, Garbodor can learn Solar Beam by TM. You'd think such a toxic, like, like pollution-based Pokemon would not be able to use, like, plant-type moves that, that you get energy from the sun with. That, that seems ridiculous. Maybe the more he decomposes from... So the sun, the uh, <laughs> oh yeah, the more powerful he becomes oh, until eventually just, he's just like fertilizer, just rotting trash oh, in the sun. Beautiful. It can also learn psychic and thunderbolt via TM, which is interesting because a lot of Pokemon like that are like physical attackers can learn these like elemental special attacks because you know they're not going to use them anyway. That's stupid. you know what I thought Garbodor was going to be more balanced as a physical and special attacker. It's actually a physical attacker. Its base uh, physical attack is ninety five. Base special attack is sixty. Wow. Honestly, Garbodor's base stats aren't as good as I thought they were. They're not terrible. It's not like a terrible Pokemon. It's usable, but it's it's not great. 
Ah, like base 95 attack's pretty good. If you have a uh, up and attack nature, you can get up to a maximum IV of uh, 317, which is really good. Anything over 300 is a pretty good stat. Ugh, that just that means that, to that, that just means very little to me. I hate IVs and EVs. Yeah, so I I really it, I, as being a Pokemon Masters, I think that I am. I know basically nothing about EVs. I can't. It's so in depth. It I, it just makes me want to just like cheat the perfect Pokemon into existence. If you know what I mean. I do, and that's I mean, if you ever wanted to do battles, what's that like online battle simulator? Uh, I always forget crap. the name of Pokemon. Tournament? Showdown. Pokemon Showdown. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can just go in there, yeah. create a Pokemon from scratch, natures, IVs, EVs, oh, everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then just battle with that, which I think is it's easier than creating a Pokemon from scratch. But oh, if yeah. you wanted to like go to Worlds and play and like compete in competitive Pokemon, you need to build this Pokemon from scratch yeah. in the video games. Which is really annoying. It's annoying, but as long as you know how to do it, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that hard. Also, Garbodor learns Explosion. <laughs> That's the last move it learns. That's the... At level like, 59, that is the last level up move it gets. Explosion. And that's after learning Gunk Shot in 54. How much damage does Explosion do? 250 damage. Oh. It and Self-Destruct do the most damage of any attacks, but that's because you also die in the process. Yeah. Is there any situation where you want your Garbodor to learn Explosion? Um, if, you're, if you know you're about to die next turn, but you outspeed... And you want to make sure you take the other Pokemon down with you. Yeah. You know, why bother switching out? Now you can just get a safe switch in anyway. That's a good point. Yeah. it's a really good point. Seems situational, but... So I imagine not all Pokemon have, like, funny names in other languages. But uh, uh, Garbodor's French name is Miasmax. Which I imagine is a combination of Miasma, which might... My- Miasma is like an evil air... Mm-hmm. that people used to think that miasma got people sick which that fits right in line with all the toxic smells that come off of garbodor and max is like maximum the maximum amount of miasma <laughs> i honestly I, I think i prefer miasmax because that makes it seem because garbodor is just garbage and odor yeah which i feel like the garbage implies odor whenever you whenever what is your like immediate like like shotgun reaction to saying its name Gar- garbodor or garbodor it's gar to me it's garbodor because yes. it's garbage and odor Yes, that but makes the most Gar- sense. Garbodor sounds more like a Pokemon. Yeah, Garbodor rolls off the tongue better. Garbodor, right? Garbodor, yeah. Garbodor, Garbodor, Garbodor. But Garbodor, I think, makes more sense for the combination of, for the what, what's that? What is that word when you combine two words? Well, no, that's a pun. But uh, I can't remember. I, I can't don't remember. really care. Um, the only other thing I feel like we can really talk about with Trubbish and, Gar- and Garbodor are maybe its abilities. It has two abilities and one hidden ability. Now, the hidden ability is what I think a lot of people end up having on their Garbodor if they want to use them on their teams. But its first ability is Stench. If the Pokemon makes physical contact with the opponent, there's a chance the Pokemon opponent, uh, the opponent flinches. Kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Like, Any physical is... attack has a chance to flinch. Isn't flinching, like, not allowed in competitive or something? I, ooh, I don't think so. I, no. I, every, everybody start, uses Fake Out. That, oh, that yeah. auto flinches. What was it? Is it like a? Is it a? Are you thinking a, of sleep claws? Sleep is this claws like sleep like rare. I got claws or nope, like a claws wrong. like Santa Claus. Claws as in um, like the you can claws. only um, put one of your opponent's Pokemon to sleep at a time, or else sleep is a really overpowered um, yeah uh, special condition. Um, so yeah, stench is cool Stash actually. Effect. Isn't it a status effect? Status effect, yeah. It's a spe- that's special Pokemon condition. Master, my hair. Special but... condition also works. You've got a special feel. condition. Autism. <laughs> uh, the next ability is weak armor. When hit by an attack, the Pokemon's defense is lowered by one stage, but speed is increased by one stage. So you keep getting physically weaker, but you get faster. So you can potentially outspeed your opponent after being hit by one attack or two attacks. And knock them out before they can knock you out with lower defense. Yeah. But with a 75 base speed, that's not terrible. I don't know a lot about competitive and speed brackets and everything. But based on what I do know, 75 in in its... I don't know if Garbodor is in like OU or... It's definitely not an OU. But in like PU or something. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, <laughs> right? Um, But I would imagine in Garbodor's... Tier competitive tier 
75 speed isn't terrible. And getting hit once with a weak armor ability would probably put its speed either equal to or above a lot of other Pokemon. How often does, it, does the speed set raise? Like by how many times? Yeah, like how... No, is it is it a one-time speed raise or is it... No, every every, when hit by an attack. So every single turn, if your opponent... Now, it doesn't specify physical like Stench does. So yeah. that might be when you're hit by any attack, special to physical, your defense will be lowered by one stage mm, and, spree, yeah. and speed will be increased by one stage. What is Garboder's uh, defense in general? Um, It's base 82. So not... The worst? I mean, it's not great. Garboder's tats are very, like, basic along the board, right? Yeah. None of them stand out among the rest. I mean, like I said, physical attack's fine. HP is 80, which is good. Um, yeah. Should I, should I just list out all the stats? Yeah. Base stat. Uh, HP, 80. Attack, 95. Defense, 82. Special attack, 60. Special defense, 82. And speed, 75. Wow, it's like really medium. Yeah, really medium all the way. Nothing nothing hits over 100, which, again, isn't great, but it's not terrible. I guess maybe the point of Garboder, I don't know if there's a, a term for this in competitive Pokemon, is to get buffed. Is to like... Have mm. have uh, status? Is it stat? <laughs> I mean, I would think funny you for <laughs> saying special <laughs> condition. No, but I'm like, I want to call it a status effect. Yeah, to raise stats. So it gets it gets um, utility moves like toxic spikes, mm -hmm. uh, acid spray, um, which um, well, acid spray lowers the special defense. What move am I thinking of? Poison gas. I'm thinking of poison gas. Um, nope, I'm also not thinking of poison gas. What's the move that? Get, oh, clear smog. I'm thinking about mm. clear smog. It it um all stat changes are returned to normal. Yeah. So, so and it does 50 damage on top of that. But it's a special attack. But I imagine if you're using clear smog, you're not trying to do damage. You're trying to like take down their like three sword dances or whatever. Yeah. Um so yeah, it gets things like toxic, toxic spikes, clear smog, and then maybe you have explosion just to I mean, I guess if you if you guess if you're doing double battles, you don't want to use explosion unless you're a partner Pokémon is a ghost type because then it won't affect them. And that's called synergy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Garboder's final uh, hidden ability is Aftermath. The foe that dealt the final hit loses a quarter of its maximum HP if the move made, move made physical contact. Oh, Aftermath only affects physical moves? Or at least contact moves? Wow, that's crazy. I thought it was any move that killed... Wow, only physical contact moves. So, what does it do again? So, it, um, the foe that dealt the final yeah. hit and knocks out Garbodor oh. loses a quarter of its maximum HP if the move made physical contact. Okay. Um, like Driftblim and uh, yeah. Skuntank also have this ability. They're also known for having it. Is, it a, is that a good ability? It's not terrible. And Matt, okay, so a quarter of their maximum HP. So, this could knock you out. Like, like if, if you only have like a quarter of your HP left or less... Aftermath will knock you out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. But now that I think about it, now that I'm talking about it out loud, uh, Weak Armor and Stench are honestly two pretty good abilities. Yeah. And uh, not that, I don't know if this matters at all, but it, if you catch it in the wild, oh my gosh, there's a 50% chance in Gen 8. Maybe this is just because it's Garbodor. Let me look at Trubbish. Oh my gosh, Yeah. Okay, this is this is this is different between Trubbish and Garbodor. Uh, there is a five percent chance a wild Trubbish will be holding a silk scarf when you catch it. What's the significance of that? I just—it's weird that it can hold a silk scarf. Maybe it's like someone threw away their valuable silk scarf. Uh, <laughs> that's true. When this item is held, any normal type move used by the holder has its power increased by twenty percent. Why? Why would it hold a move that buffs normal type moves? Because it's going to explode and kill itself. I guess explosion <laughs> is normal. Yeah, that makes it, sense. I mean, <laughs> but it, when it evolves into a Garboder, there is a 50% chance it'll be holding a silk scarf and a 5... This makes no sense. This should be switched. And a 5% chance it's holding black sludge. It, I, I feel like it's just constantly oozing <laughs> black sludge. There should be a 75% chance you get black sludge. I think there should be a, yeah, I think there should be a 90% chance. Do you know what black sludge does? I know what that is off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't know. Is it like the same for poison? Is It It does. It's it's basically leftovers for poison types. And only and, poison types. And if anyone else uses it, they get poisoned, right? Probably. That I have to look up. 
Uh, when this item is held by a Pokemon, if the holder is poison type, it restores 1 16th of its maximum HP each turn. If the holder is not a poison type, it loses 1 16th of its maximum HP. Oh so my it's gosh. for like uh, Pokemon who are using the moves that like switch the item. Yeah, like switcheroo yeah. or fling. I don't know. Can you fling an item to a to your opposing Pokemon if they already have an item? Wait, this, so fling will give them the item you have yes. permanently. Or not permanent, like oh, for the whole battle. Yeah, fling is a rather. Oh gosh, I don't want to read all that. Oh yeah, so fling will do damage based on the item you fling. Oh my gosh, base power of fling can get up to one hundred and thirty damage. What does one hundred and thirty damage? Probably fling like a in? metal something, like a metal ball thing. I think I remember there was like, it was like. Oh maybe yeah, maybe the iron ball. Yeah, is iron ball? Is that like? Does it like slow down your Pokemon? Yes, it makes your Pokemon slower. So it seems so situational. It Trick Room? It does. Oh, yeah. It could be good for Trick Room. So then your Pokemon would be the fastest. And Iron Ball would also slow down the opposing Pokemon if you use, like, Switcheroo. Um, or Fling. But, uh, but this is not the uh, Iron Ball episode. This is the Garboder episode. And now it's time for our favorite segment, Wed, Fed, and, and Dead. dead. This is the part of the show where the boys discuss how edible, edible, edible the bucket monsters that we focused on won't be long to let them come along to the segment of the show. The segment where we talk about, could we marry this Pokemon and be happy? Could we eat this Pokemon and morally feel okay about it? Or be happy. Or be happy with, with whatever it is in our stomachs. And finally, if we fought this Pokemon one-on-one -on -one in the ring, would it kill us or would we kill it? So let's start with Wed. No. No, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm not going to marry Garbodor. <laughs> too, too stinky. Well, okay. But if you had to be married. Yes, that's the thing. I'd be very unhappy. Could you make it work? No. I feel like trash it would be really easy to take out the trash. You, you ever... Okay, so I've been to Japan pretty recently as recording this. And when I was in a couple different Pokemon centers, I saw they had a Garboder trash can. They had built an entire Garboder trash can and you put the trash into its mouth. That's really cool. It's so cool. I looked on like eBay. They're not selling them even for like an insane amount of money. <sighs> I would so buy one even if it was like $10,000. But... That's the only good thing I could see. So <laughs> I don't care. I would love it. I'd be so happy. But oh I, I definitely would hate being married to this thing because it would smell bad. It would get trash everywhere, supposedly. So it's it's it'd like probably being married leak. to you. That's hilarious coming from a guy whose apartment complex looks like a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever. I love you. No, you don't. You um, love the idea of me. But but Garboder would eat all your trash, and you wouldn't have to worry about. Just it so we're at clear, all. Frank and I aren't married. <laughs> no, we're definitely not um, yes. yet. Anyway, moving on because uh, I think the answer for wet is very clear. <laughs> moving on, Jokum uh, fed. Do you think you could eat this no. sentient pile of like no. like completely like broken down and rotting garbage? It's like when the all I can think of is Squidward eating the trash. It's just oh, rancid, gosh. disgusting, horrible. Yeah, I uh, I think this one's pretty obvious. We don't got to spend a lot of time on it. Uh, no, I'm not gonna eat old tin cans, literal like soupy food slime. <laughs> I feel like it would make you very sick to the point of death. And morally, I don't. I think Garbota loses trash all the time. Yeah. It just falls off. I don't think it would care. I think you could eat so much of Gar Garbota that it turns back into a trubbish. <laughs> I, I feel like it's a little bag has to be. If together. you, oh my gosh, joke him. If you took Garbota's trash bag top off and like sewed it back together and refilled it with trash, would that just be a trubbish? How does this Pokemon work? I think it's a it's like an it's a it's like a cartoon creature. <laughs> okay, well yeah. that's the end of that. Yeah. Moving on next, we have the final part. Dead. Do you think you could kill this Pokemon if your life depended on it? I. How fast is it? Because if I have, here, I, need, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Joe, Joe, come, is, your, is your base time. speed above seventy five? <laughs> no. My with prep time, meaning I have a shovel. Maybe I can run Whoa. around it. Maybe I can run around it and shovel its a disgusting body apart. I I think it's like it's like a uh, 
like a, a Dark Souls boss or something where it's always going to be facing you and follow you and it can like it can track your movements. But I mean basically all it has to do is like shoot its gunk at me and I'm dead. You think so? Well, it's got the Pokemon Dex entry, wasn't it? Like it's got horrible oh, yeah. poison, toxic acid that will <laughs> kill you instantly. I good point. Yeah. So it's a one hit kill from him to you. So basically, my only hope of surviving is maybe <laughs> split speed blitzing, <laughs> which I don't think I can do. <laughs> I, I don't think I solo anyone in in the Pokemon verse. But <laughs> oh my god! No, come I, on! No, I you could, could you could drop kick a Lillipup. <laughs> oh, I could I could crush a Lillipup to death. Probably. I could, there's a lot of ways I could. There's more than one way to uh, to skin a meow. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I also don't think I'd stand a chance killing this thing because the second you I, I I'm a grappler, you know, and so the second I get Frankie my the grappler. My, my fists, my my giant palms onto this creature, I'm just gonna like come away with just piles of goop that's gonna like probably hurt to touch at this point. And it's probably gonna be some sort of needle sticking into my arm. <laughs> San Francisco garbage. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so I think all around, in every way possible, this Pokemon would be terrible to own. But in the fictional world where I play this game like it like it is meant to be played, a video game, I don't think our mode is that bad. I I can't imagine a single human wanting to own it unless they're like what if they're a, one a of those... rat man. Unless they're a Frank Reynolds <laughs> from It's Always Sunny. He's the trash man. <laughs> oh my gosh, Frank Reynolds Pokemon team. He'd have a Garbodor <laughs> on it for a fact he would. That's a good idea for a future episode. Oh my <laughs> god, Building a team for Frank Reynolds. I would love to do that. If you guys want to see us do that, please... Why don't you go ahead and give us a like on the podcast? It really helps kind of get the word out there. I don't and think people can like podcasts. Not they can on Apple like... Podcasts. They can rate it. Are you serious? Yeah, they can give you like uh... five stars. Give us five stars. Was was this episode good? Did it please you? Are you a Garbador fan? Did you enjoy me singing Garb- Garbador's <laughs> praises? If we get fifty five star votes, we'll, wow. we'll, we'll make a Frank Reynolds team. Okay, we got to get there eventually, right? Just <laughs> yeah. with the passage of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Jokum, do you have any final words to say on Trubbish or Garbodor? Terrible Pokemon. It's an alright design. I think it's a pretty good design. We did get... We, we, we talked about it a bit. We it's, dissected it's the design. It's only a terrible Pokemon in the idea of, like, I don't want to own a pile of trash. Other than yes. that, it's probably... It's, it seems like a good Pokemon, air quotes. And it's made me want to put a shiny Garbodor on a team and find out exactly why it can use Thunderbolts. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching. Please rate and review uh, this podcast. Uh, hit the follow. Is it a follow? Is it a subscribe? Depends on the podcast provider. Whatever podcast provider you're on, stick around because we're going to be back every single week. Right, Jokum? Probably. That sounds right. All right, everybody. Until, Until next time. time.